Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom Beta. I am just here outside the cabin build from the last video, getting really excited for the update, which at the time of recording this, I think is due to come out in a couple of days. I have decided that I am finally ready to build another habitat. And you would have seen from the thumbnail which uh, dinosaur that habitat is for. It is for the Torvosaurus. So I was really tossing up whether to build for the Camarasaurus or the Torvosaurus, but we don't have any large carnivores in this park as yet. So I thought it would be kind of cool to go ahead and build for them. Now I'm going to build this habitat absolutely nowhere near where the caverns are. So just for a bit of reference, the cabins sort of come up this drive and they're all here. This is the check-in building here. Then you have the mammoth enclosure here and some backstage buildings and the entrance building over here. Then you kind of have the rest of the park sprawled out down here. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to build a visitor center and I'm thinking I'm gonna do it over this side because it was always my intention to do that and connect up this part of the park here um, so that it goes all the way around. I'm gonna build a visitor center and the visitor center itself is going to look out over the Torvosaurus habitat there will also be a separate viewing area for those guests that are not at the visitor center or they don't intend to stay there very long and also an area for where schools can come in from this secondary car park down here so let's go ahead and jump into a speed build I will talk to you a little bit about the Torvosaurus in the speed build and also about my building process I'm also going to have a little chat to you about my excitement for the upcoming update I cannot wait Wait to get my hands on it I'm really excited for any new pieces we might get I'm excited for the new dinosaurs I'm just excited in general to have something new in the game to be honest it's been a long time uh, I keep on joking that my computer is getting quite cold so just simply because I haven't been in all that much building because there hasn't been that much new content to play with uh, so without further ado I'm going to jump into a speed build and I'll see you in there bye well hey everyone it is swoop there from the future here so at the time of recording that intro the uh, beta 0.4 hadn't been released it has since been released i am recording this uh, day after its release so i have already put out a couple of videos relating to the update which you guys can watch i'll pop a little card in the corner here if you haven't seen those yet uh, simply because I don't really need to talk too much about it in this speed build because I've already talked heaps about it in my stream and also in my 0.4 update uh, episode. So let's talk a little bit about the Torvosaurus because I actually really, really like this dinosaur. It was discovered in 1972 in Colorado, which I thought was actually kind of cool because aside from the Colorado fossils, it was also found in Utah, Wyoming, and on the Iberian Peninsula, I think it was. Um, they lived on like the floodplains, wetlands, and also forests. So for Cola Mountain Park probably isn't like, I guess, the best environment for it, but I really did want to put it in. So I have. You know, I have guys. Um, it was one of the largest and fiercest predators in the Jurassic period, aside from obviously the T-Rex. It had like a really long snout, which you'll see in the walkthrough at the end. It also had like a, quite a heavy body and really powerful hind limbs. One thing that I thought was interesting is it had strong arms that had the long, sharp claws. They were actually a lot better developed or a lot more developed than the T-Rex's forearms, which is why I like these guys. Uh, they walked on two legs, which is obvious from what you can see in the footage, and their name, Torvosaurus, actually means savage lizard. So it was named, I think, savage because it was like deemed to be like quite a brutal, I suppose, carnivore of that particular period. It was clearly a meat eater and it liked to dine on the various species of sauropods and I guess other large herbivores like uh, Stegosaurus for example that roamed about during the late Jurassic period with the Torvosaurus. It has extremely large sharp teeth and together with its claws they obviously served as a powerful tool in order to kill that prey that I just described. The Torvosaurus laid eggs in nests and that was discovered, that fact, based on crushed eggs and it had like an exposed embryo of a Torvosaurus that was found in uh, Portugal in 2005, which is interesting. 
they had uh, very primitive embryos compared with embryos of other species of dinosaur and it's actually still a mystery whether Torvosaurus was taking care of its eggs or babies that's actually still an unknown fact so I hope you enjoyed those little uh, facts about the Torvosaurus now you can see me I'm just jumping into building the actual visitor center itself after building the habitat first that's a little bit of a different process than what I usually follow normally I like to build the buildings first and the habitat second because the buildings themselves are actually what I enjoy building the most but I changed it up this time and decided to go for the habitat first so it was all put in there ready to go and then this visitor center actually looks out over the Torvosaurus habitat. I went through a few iterations of this uh, building I cut out quite a few of them because that would just be boring for you guys to watch but yeah it ends up looking pretty good nice and open which is what I wanted and this particular style is a lot more modern than a lot of the other buildings in the park so I'm guessing that it kind of was put in a little bit later after the park was well established and they got really popular and so they decided to pop in this visitor center. I go in and I also put in like a little conference or a little meeting room where you know school groups can go in and learn from the keepers or the workers that take the school groups around and I've popped in a couple of little information booths for other guests that come in to the visitor center I wanted it to be really dark like the walls to be dark and then the uh, most like a lot of the walls also to be glass because that gives it an air of like a modern like a modern feel which is really what I was going for then I went in and popped in the roof and once again a few iterations of that because I realized how low the roof was and I didn't enjoy it so I fixed that up and then I go in and pop in some statues and some seating and a few I guess little planters and things like that to make it more like an interesting building to be in also like a nicer building to be in and they have like the viewing platform from the front of the building too so if you don't want to enter into the visitor center and go in and have a look you can actually you don't have to you can go around just around on the balcony or the deck and look at the Torvosaurus from the front of the building and then walk away and go back towards where you came from towards the entrance I popped in a waterfall which you can see me starting to pop in now I originally was just going to pop the waterfall just coming straight down from the water which is now underneath the floor of the visitor center it just didn't work out in the way that I wanted it to and instead of like fiddling around with it because Unfortunately in prehistoric kingdom you can't really get the water really close to the edge of anything elevated and so I wouldn't have been able to make it look realistic that it was actually coming from the water and cascading down. So instead of that I just popped in an implied like little grate I suppose where the water is supposed to be coming out of and then although I did leave the water underneath the visitor centre on either side so it's kind of implied that it's under there I didn't really bother having it near the front uh, and you'll see me in a minute I go in and pop in the railings around the edge of the front of the visitor center and just decorate the interior I'm really happy with how it turned out it looks so nice in the sunset light which I'm hoping to do the real live or the live tour at the end I'm hoping to do that in the sunset so you guys can get a real sense of what it looks like I popped in quite a few implied signs just to kind of make it look like it was a little bit more visitor center-esque I suppose and then yeah this school room that I'm just about to start now it doesn't necessarily have to be just a school room but it was kind of what I had in mind when I built it I just wanted it to have a lot of seating and like a little area at the front where someone would talk I also popped a little table at the front with some bones on it so perhaps that's kind of what an educator might be talking about when they're sort of giving talks in this little room and then I went through and did a lot of implied sliding doors I do have glass doors in game that I could have used and kind of done a double push door but I think with buildings like this the majority of the doors would be sliding doors they wouldn't want people opening and closing the doors themselves so I wanted them all to be implied sliding doors I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed build there is about four or five minutes left and I will see you in the real time part at the end bye
All right, everyone, welcome back to the live walkthrough. I've left the in-game sound on because all of the new sound effects have kind of come in uh, from the update and I'm just loving hearing the dinosaur calls and everything in the background. So I've left the in-game sound so you guys can hear that too, I hope. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the visitor center and an overlook to the Torvosaurus. So this is obviously where you would walk into the visitor center. You've got this roped off portion over here where you kind of the school groups would come in. Now, so far, I haven't actually put in the entrance from the car park. So here is where you kind of will have the school group entrance. So they would come in this way and then this is where they would gather. I haven't popped that in as of yet. I've just kind of left it just sort of garden for now and then we'll do that in a stream. So you would kind of as a guest come on down this way and you can have a seat here if you want to. Otherwise you can pop on over here. You can have a little read of the sign if you want the history of Focola. Then you have obviously this is the school entrance so it's all cordoned off. So if you were a regular guest you would walk around there should you want to see the Torvosaurus or you can come straight in through the sliding glass doors here. So we're greeted with this nice mural, some more seating and then you've got this information section on this side which when the park is open these would be open and you'd have some workers in there and some bathrooms if you need them. And then straight on through we have uh, just the same sign copied over on this side. I'm just going to change the lighting so that you guys can see a little bit better in here. Let's have a look around. Mm, are we happy with that? Maybe a little bit. There we go. That's kind of nice. All right. So then we've got the statues with like some implied information there. Your history of Focola. And then if we look on up, you can see what I went with with the roof in the end. I decided to go with like a two-tiered roof system. This is one of my preferred ways to do roofs so that there's a lot of natural light still coming into the building. I also did a skylight above. And then here we have a planter that you can sit on if you want to. This is this implied seat here. And then on this side, there's another sign where it all began, Monty. So this is just to kind of say that Monty was their first dinosaur they had in the park and Edmontosaurus. And this is supposed to be like a replica of what he looked like and some information about him. Then we've just got these really flattened trees. Please ignore these little uh, water issues. I can't seem to fix them at the moment. Uh, it is a sandbox park, so these shouldn't be coming up. But because of the recent update, they've kind of decided to be an issue so we'll fix that or sort that out later we can probably sort it out in a stream actually and then i've flattened these trees against the wall to try and make them look a little bit like they're sort of painted or stuck on there but you can see because they still move when they're inside it makes it look slightly unrealistic but that's only if you look too close so we're not going to let's go through here oh there's lots of those i'm just going to turn around so you guys don't have to look at them whip around this way there we go perfect so here we are in the school area so you come in if you're a student or if you're part of a big group I suppose and you can sit down here and then you will learn from the keeper and you walk around and the keeper can decide whether you come out this door or whether we go out that door we're going to go out the side door here and head around so that we can have a look down into the Torvosaurus habitat. So here we go, come out the front and then this is the Torvosaurus habitat down here. There's one just in the background there, you can see it. And the water's looking so much better now since the update. We've got the backstage building over this side, a little bit more exposed in this habitat, I suppose then in my other habitats. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place. There we go. So if you're a guest, this is kind of the perspective that you would have. Okay, so I just changed the lighting again so you guys could get a good look at the Torvosaurus. Let's hop on down into their habitat here and have a look at them. There's one over here. Let's go and check him out. What's he getting up to? He's gonna have a lay down right here on the edge of the mountain, sure. See if we can find the other one. There's 
should be two in here. Let's see if we can find the second Torvosaurus. Hmm. It's probably hunting us. seem to see it. But anyway, so there we are guys. That's what we got done today. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, look at that yawning animation. Beautiful. And the sound too. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I actually really enjoyed making and building this building. I really enjoyed the, oh, there it is in the back there. I enjoyed the modern sort of take on it let's just zoom back into it so we can see what's going on yeah I enjoyed the modern building like building in this style I think for my next park I'm going to go back to modern uh, depending on uh, what I decide to do but the next few buildings and episodes in Focola I'll be heading back to the kind of old cabin log style vibe which is what this uh, park was born from so thank you so much for tuning in thank you for your support if you are enjoying my content it is really always extremely helpful to just leave a like and a comment under the video even if you don't want to subscribe which I completely understand uh, if you really do want to support me subscriptions are always the best way to do that thank you so much for tuning in guys and as always I'll see you in the next one take care bye